God, we're going live. Oh. Just happened. Holy we're shit. We're live. Look at us live. Oh. Hey, YouTube and and all the people listening on Monday. What's going on, what's everybody? Up? Hey, now, everybody. No Simple Road family. This is Aaron. It's Mel. It's Apple. And Darren. special guests. Darren. Jordan. Jordan. <laughs> you had to be last. Jordan. Jordan had to get the last word. Yeah, always. Venue Llama podcast host, Fire on the Mountain Wing owner, General mensch i got gotcha. you yeah and he's you know. here so um this episode is brought to you let me think uh in collaboration with melt premium mushroom chocolates oh, yeah you melt. should go check out that whole thing that's going on over there um since we're on youtube i'm not going to get too deep into it but go follow at melt mushrooms on instagram and then shoot him a dm and tell him that you know simple road told you to do the thing and things will happen it's great. Yeah, she things goes, do happen. Sold. Try that. Sold. Yeah, okay. it's a whole thing. Yeah, I'm going on. Right. So uh, we're here in in the studio today yes, to to yes we are to discuss <laughs> stuff about we're um stuff. the the sphere. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you looking at me? Because you even, you're I you're the info maker. Not really. No, not no. really. Okay. No. <laughs> um, Jordan, before before we do that. Tell everybody a little bit about Venue Llama and the Venue Llama podcast. Yes. yes. Venue Llama was started because it seemed like there was a need for information before going to shows. A lot of times you go to a show and you just have questions such as, where is there like an entrance I can go to that's going to, where the line's going to be a lot shorter than, mm -hmm. you know, where the big line is. You know, I want to know, people want to know where's the sound going to be the best inside the venue what is what's security like is exactly. it big one for me yeah like yeah are they gonna patch you down yeah super yeah. hardcore or or is there a metal detector or stuff like that um you know sometimes people want to know for example if somebody's gluten-free whether there's <laughs> gluten-free options that's true man. i never even thought of that you get hungry. Good point. yeah yeah um yeah if you're kosher are there are kosher offerings in there um, wow. All sorts of things. Like what's the transportation situation like at a venue? Like where's the best place to go to score a lift or an Uber? Um, you know, people are always asking like, where's a good bar to hang out yeah. at pre-show or After, a restaurant. Yeah. And so it's designed to just provide as much information as you can get before a show. That's going to help your experience at the show. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Whose, whose idea was it to, to start this whole thing? It was my idea um yeah just after going to shows for you know 30 plus years like recently i was like huh the, the, there's no resource for this type of thing and ran the idea by you know a few friends like huh that's actually a really good yeah. idea then people would say yeah what about this you know you want to know you know where's a good place like where can i go like what business can i you know go frequent or not frequent but go to yeah. that's like you know owned by a fellow head for the show or when i'm in town for a show and uh yeah people just kept you know voicing what they would want to know before a show and and uh the gain momentum and then yeah, about a year and a half ago we built it out so, so how do you build your intel that's a that's a great question um well people can go to venuelama.com and there's a database of venues on there so you can search for the venue that you know that you're looking for and um and there's a bunch of and you can write like your comments about the venue okay so it's sort of like kind of like a trip advisor yelp type situation yeah where people can go in and talk about the security talk about the sound um you know talk about the entry process transportation stuff like that so you can read you know fellow fans comments about those parts of yeah so of, people who've been there it's actually. all fan-based intel so it's the people who actually know what the fuck is going on yeah rather than people getting paid to go review something it's right. us telling each other yeah. the lowdown so it's just like if you were telling your friend oh you've never been to that venue before you should check out this restaurant or go stay at this hotel because it's cool or absolutely whatever. yeah Right now, you know, we're just starting out, so that's kind of where we're at. It's like we're trying to spread the word and have people, you know, get involved, get and involved, and write their, you know, not even like write a full-on review. It could be as simple as, you know, leaving like one comment, you know, about the, you know, just 
about like where the best seats are in the house or whatever it yeah. might be. So we don't want people to feel like they need to go in and like write this whole essay. All encompass- <laughs> yeah, essay. If they want to, that's great and, and fine. Yeah. But um, but so you know, in the meantime, as we're you know trying to build it up and and get reviews and comments and such, like we're making YouTube videos like before you know before any big you know fish run or you know widespread run um my partner that you know built out the site he's been making these youtube videos which you know are kind of short videos which you know give really a lot good of, though yeah 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 thanks which mm-hmm. um, provide a lot of information you know just about water policies bag policies you know stuff like that we try to try to make them fun so if you've never if you've never been if you're listening and, and you probably are because i'm talking right now and yeah. you have the podcast on um you're if here. you're listening and you haven't been to a venue before like probably go to venue llama and check out what's up that's how you kind of get the skinny on what's going going on and it's a potential resource for bands as well right yeah we're like looking at that promoters and- yeah in the future i think once we gain some traction we think it'd be a great resource for that yeah, for bands and management of bands um to kind of get some intel about venues when they're deciding which venues to play we yeah think it could be a valuable resource you could have a whole the, thing yeah, on there for musicians like what green rooms suck yeah. and like a whole right. backstage yeah. thing totally. going on with what's the back and what line their like. parking's like where you have to park yeah the bus, like, where you in. load in yeah like yeah, yeah a lot that's a good of, point yeah exactly so that's kind of you know in the in the future mm-hmm. if anybody out there wants to get involved we're <laughs> right yeah. on. Looking we're, at, we're looking for angel investors and capital <laughs> capital rich people that love venues to help and, and help good them ideas and love mama <laughs> and love yeah, yes yeah um that's a must all right so we are it's monday right now and uh we are on well for everybody watching on youtube it's saturday, saturday. for everybody listening on the podcast it's monday right now <laughs> and uh we are getting ready to um embark on a week of insanity shenanigans and shenanigans in las vegas like at, only vegas can bring out yeah and uh i well actually this whole thing was jordan's idea for us to do this this yeah this sit is down. actually a great idea jordan um, because this is a event one of a kind it's- so if you're if you're going to vegas and you've never been before or um you just wanted a little more information on like uh what the late night situation was going to be like what um what restaurants to go to what hotels are cheap uh what else what, what am i missing like we have um Darren Utrelli to my left here has been to the sphere. Uh oh. And I guess like when Twice thinking about Wow. <laughs> you know, thinking Don't about be bragging over here, Darren. Come on, man. <laughs> he's, he's quite the None of us have been Bragger. there. <laughs> but as far as the idea to, to do this, part of that, or a large part of it, is because you all are from Vegas, yes. if I'm not yeah. mistaken. I, I, yes, I've, I've, I've been there are. a couple of times, man. <laughs> so we've heard. Yeah. Okay. Well, Our the, origin and, and this, stories are not. And this but is then, exciting yes. for us because this is, I mean, we live most of our life in Vegas, but this the sphere is new to everybody yeah except right. for darren right darren, <laughs> yeah. yeah except for darren <laughs> hey, old news <laughs> yeah. Yeah. um darren yes tell me a little bit about your sphere experience well okay so i've been there twice like you said but uh the first time was in october to see you too and uh you know it was definitely an experience like i've never had before going yeah. to a concert you know i mean what do you mean by well, that well i mean okay well of course the sphere itself and the visuals that you can see there but i think the thing that stood out most to me was that the band and the stage were the smallest things happening oh you know? i mean not the music of course the music is important and that's what we're all there for but the visuals and the experience of being all encompassed by what you can because you can look up straight left right and you're surrounded by the visuals and it's pretty amazing like is it if you're if you have a proclivity towards vertigo is that a thing it's something to think about you know i mean we've all read a lot of things about the sphere at this point i think are people who have been looking into it and right. people have talked about that uh and my partner jenny she experienced that a little bit the first uh the first u2 show that we went to there uh we were in the 300 section okay and so we're we we're, were in the first row of that section so there's a glass you know thing Partition, in front of you yeah. but you're still looking over the edge and no you know intended. the stairs coming down <laughs> to that first row were 
you know, it was definitely steep, you know, okay. and steeper than most upper sections at arenas we've been to. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pretty steep. And the, and the distance between, um, like, when you're not in the front row, mm -hmm. the distance between your knees when you're sitting and the seat in front of you is very small, correct? It, it is pretty small. It right. is pretty small. There's enough room to stand up and move around a little bit. But it's definitely something you're going to want to be careful with. You know I mean? I know... Mm -hmm. A lot of people going to these shows probably have been to a lot of shows in a lot of different places, like, you know, like a lot of us have. But it's definitely different than that. You know, it's mm. definitely something people want to be careful with, with, with whatever they're doing, you know. Yeah. And what they usually do at shows just might be something to, like, notch up your... Uh, safety first a little bit safety oh. safety third first. No, well, yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe move it up to first yeah, exactly. yeah. yeah. you know so at let, least till you get in there and get settled okay. we can we can we can speak openly okay on, on no okay. simple road it's okay. totally fine okay. sure we were discussing ketamine okay yeah we were using ketamine and yeah. and darren said to me like I don't know if I would do it that's a problem. sitting in the 300s. Yeah, I would I would so, probably stay away. That's probably a one free zone. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> it's one of the things I would point. stay away from. But you know, there's other people who out there who might mean like I took I can speak freely. You speak yeah. freely. Yeah, We're I mean, on I YouTube. Took, I took L there and right. you know, I, I had a great time. <laughs> I took Molly there. I had a great time. Okay. And I was, you know, and when I was in the 300 section, I was uh, you know, I felt good. I didn't feel super unsafe, but it was something I definitely was made sure I had a handle on yeah. when I got to so my it was something you had settled to, in. You had to pay some more attention to your safety. No doubt. Absolutely. No doubt. Okay. That's do you, a good yeah. call. Do you no have doubt. a prediction of how many people are going to eat shit? No. <laughs> I don't even want to no, think no, about no, that. No, no, I don't even want to think about that. Yeah. Well, we joked around. Yeah. We were joking around about that. Like, they, everybody should get a little bungee cord that hooks to yeah, the seat. baby so baby so people so on the way yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah um did you did you sorry i already cut you off there but did you whatever jordan i, I know you're known as like a like a wild dancer like did you were you able to were you dancing <laughs> well, in your okay, your okay so that's another thing to talk about yes. so it's going to be different for you two yes. i mean for fish you know i mean fish everybody's going to be standing i think no matter what section you're in okay that's my call i mean it's you know it's my experience with you i know. can't imagine sections just sitting no down. Yeah, would you for please you two sit down. it was a little different <laughs> so in the upper sections the two three and four hundreds mostly everybody was sitting down and that was kind of a bummer and wow. you know you don't want to be a jerk and stand up in front of people, even totally. though you want to do what you want to do. And you've paid a lot of money for this experience. Yeah. And, you know, yeah, people want so, to see Bono or Bono. <laughs> Bono. <laughs> so, uh, they're the bump. I mean, the edge. <laughs> He's the bump. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, uh, but, you know, it, uh, what was I talking about? Now I lost my train of thought. People want to get up. People oh, are sitting there. Not get blocking up. people's so, views. So the second time we went uh, just a few months ago in February to see you two at the sphere again okay. because we had so much fun the first time like honestly yeah uh we got general admission tickets and we were jazzed about that i mean it was i'm not saying it was like you know way better experience but just as space wise being on the floor in yeah. the back left and right wings there was lots of room to move around i mean of course everybody tried to congregate up towards the stage everybody sure. wants to in squish the, back, the stage man in the back uh we had so much room I love the back. and we were able to stand up the whole time. I mean, we were just on the floor and it was fantastic. You wow. Know? Okay. So, but I think that, like I said, for fish, for everybody's going to be standing up. I'm not going to be like you two where it's, you know, a different kind of crowd, so to speak. Yeah. And everybody's sitting down. I I mean, of course not. So I, I, I go ahead. Up. I'm sorry. Well, I say, I'm curious too, because we know this is a thing that happens, especially like fish shows and stuff. Is it, is it feasible to be able to sneak down on floor as people do at other stub venues? Down. Or is can you it stub like down? A... Kick down so I can get down? Uh, I, I, I'll have to say I don't know because we didn't try to do that. You okay. know what I mean? The first time we were just kind of in amazement being there and like not paying the show, attention to what other and we just yeah. like I got to our seats and we're kind of high. Darren, I would but, like to, to field that question. Yes. I'll, I'll take that one. Okay. Um, I think if any group of fans can figure out how to <laughs> how fucking to do, do that it's this group of fans or the dead and company crew yes. we, we know yeah. how to stub each other down we know we'll how figure. to show yeah we know, we, how to, we know how to screenshot these days yes yeah. that's <laughs> a thing. How to sneak under yeah, a rail yeah. <laughs> i wanted to ask like what's coming into the sphere mm -hmm. transportation drop off the okay. whole thing let's hear yeah. okay. that great question okay so nice smell the best place to get to okay so vegas has a new monorail is one thing to talk about that runs from MGM Grand all the way up to the Sahara and you can buy a two-day pass for like $30 okay. 
and it stops at like you know the sahara and then like the convention center yep. and then like the link and then goes on down the strip the, yep it's a really cheap option for getting around i mean it was amazing because Lyft and Uber and stuff like that in Vegas is a train wreck. It's a shit show. It's a train wreck. It was like that when we lived there. I'm not saying we didn't Mm -hmm. use them some because we ran, you know, short on time and had to get, but like still just finding the right spot and your phone's not working right. And, you know, or it's vibrating when you look at it. So I highly recommend people looking into the new monorail. Monorail. It's really worth having. Good point. But when you got off at the link, or uh, I think that's what we get off at for this sphere. Anyway, you get off and you're by the Venetian. It's about a 15 minute walk from okay. the hotels to the sphere. But getting in, you know, I would save some time. I mean, because the line. What time did you long. what time did you get in or get in line? Like what time did the we show got in kind of early just because we were worried about being late. You know what I mean? Right. We didn't, okay. So we it got opened there 60 early. minutes before showtime. Is yeah, what that's I just read. it. That's which what is, I just read. Which is a little crazy. So that that's something I wanted to bring up too. But we'll get back to the transportation sure. thing. Um this is not your typical uh show there's there's going to be no shakedown outside the sphere they're they're not down to let people walk around or hang out out there they a lot of security they they fucking shoo everybody off i talked to a bunch of people people. that have said there is no like shenanigans going there's you're not going to see nitrous tanks after the show out there out there Uh you may way out in a parking lot somewhere but not outside the sphere yeah yeah different okay so back to the transportation different thing yeah transportation. well i mean like like i said we used the monorail we did take a lift there i think the second time but the first time we just took the monorail and walked from the venetian and it's an easy walk you know i mean everybody will be you know of course you'll have to ask someone if you don't know where you're going but everybody's going to the same place yeah you'll be able to tell. and it's an easy walk um okay so we've arrived at the sphere yeah, we've taken the monorail mm-hmm. and we're about to go inside mm-hmm. right i have a bunch of illegal stuff in my pocket right. okay Ooh. what do i do this is what i experienced okay so the first time Machete. we went we were in the 300 section like i said mm-hmm. uh so we had to enter the sphere and then walk up one of the levels to go through security and so the first time you walk through these uh it's whatever detector but it's not like your regular metal detector like that. It's just like these two things on the side. Mm-hmm. I didn't even have to take anything out of my pockets in the upper section whenever we went the first time. Okay. You don't as long as you don't have a bag, which they oh, don't okay. allow anyway. Okay. Uh, right. And there's no places to like check things or coats or anything like that. Oh, so there's no place to do that. Good call. And okay. You can't really okay. take back. You can't take backpacks for sure. You can have a small clutch bag or something like, like that. a fanny pack right right exactly fanny pack which everybody like wears two by front. two by six i think or something like that okay. okay um but if you don't have a bag you don't even have to take your phone or anything out of your pockets and i had oh that's uh, cool uh, you know i had a photo of your body or something well i don't know just what it a, does just of your genitalia ask me to take anything out of my pockets <laughs> <laughs> So that Wait, was yeah, great. Yeah. That was a great part of the experience, though. I'm like, not sure it was. And okay. it was easy. It was easy. But then the second time, we okay, went, here we go. We were second on the floor, time. when general admission, we had to enter through a different. There's a separate entrance for general admission. Yeah, that's because people that have GA are better. Right. Exactly. Right. Yeah. yeah Got exactly. It. Wow. Uh, we did have to. It was a regular metal detector, and we did have to take stuff out of our pockets. But I had a vape, no pat I, down. I, I had anything. a yeah no pat down. Uh, okay. I had a vape pen on me. I had a vial. I had, you know, I had a couple joints and it nobody just had said anything candy in it, though. The vial. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, just, no, it, yeah, it was just everybody sweet. on just YouTube sweets. just relax. Yeah, it, was it was just sweets. Yeah. Filled with sweets. Yeah. 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 I love sweets. To keep hype for gambling. Yeah. Afterwards. Yeah, exactly. Spend totally. money yeah, yeah, in Vegas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah uh, gambling's legal there, right? Yeah, no, yeah, kind of. <laughs> only in only in certain places yeah. at the airport. Yeah, you can yeah. bet on anything. Yeah, um, what's the bathroom situation like? It was great. I mean, I, I never did I wait in line. Okay. Uh, you know, whether it was before or during the show, um, they're easy to find. Easy to find. Plentiful. Plenty of them. They were nice and clean. Yeah, I mean, okay. everything there is brand new. It's super yes. nice. Did you meet okay. the robot? No, they took those away for the shows, uh, so they were not uh, out for you two. Oh, okay. that's a bummer. And, I want to meet the robot. And I didn't find out about them until Jenny told me about them like a week ago. So I didn't even know about the robots <laughs> okay. to tell you the truth. So, so it wasn't a big but part they of their... She told me they weren't out for that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I thought they might yeah, have maybe... them out for fish. Yeah. Dude, Kinda like the mime. Can you imagine? Thing. You're on a real <laughs> mime kick today, aren't you? Good <laughs> 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 Apple Go, man. He's oh, you're pretty good at that. Yeah, you should sweet. bring your own robot, Apple. <laughs> you should. 
You should dress up like a robot and just stand yeah, in there. I'll be the robot. Yeah, That'd Santa Claus robot. Yeah, um, I, I accept tips. Yeah. <laughs> wow. You could be busking inside. Inside. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so the entry process is just normal. They scan your ticket. You Pretty go through normal. the metal detector. You're in the show. Yeah. There's different entrances for the upper sections and the GA. Correct. Um, Correct. Security is heavier for GA than it is for upper, but not terrible. That was my experience. Because yeah. like in Mexico, we just did Mexico. I've never experienced security like that at a Mexico show. Like they were doing pat downs before mm. we went in and it was a bummer. One of the nights for me. Well, as, Dude, as uh, with any some stuff away. Yeah. They took my, my candy. From yeah. Me. I didn't want me it's eating candy. In the show. Well, yeah. that's probably it good for you. It's teeth. better for my teeth. You're yeah. true. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the sound, the sound was excellent. It was excellent. So you've had the opportunity to like, up top up top down, down below is there a difference i mean i didn't notice much of a difference i would i said i think it was a bit louder on the floor okay. but yeah. you know it, it was hard to tell I yeah mean, i was having yeah. such a good time <laughs> yeah. both times that you know i could hear everything Absolutely. great what you about know? your neck i've heard oh, oh yeah good, good, good don't talk about my neck dude <laughs> <laughs> it's supple <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, that's the thing. You know, it's definitely something to think about because you can look up entirely and still be engulfed by the visuals wow. looking straight up. I mean, straight if, up. You're, if you're straight if you're if you're in any almost any seat where you're looking straight up, left, right, up, that you're you're gonna see nothing but the visuals. I mean, you know, a lot of the pictures and videos I've shared with my friends, I'll be having video of the visuals, and then you pan down to see the stage, and the stage looks about that. Big, like a little post compared stand. to everything else, and it's wow. amazing in that respect, you know. Because I'm not saying the band's not the focus, but in some times, it's more the music and the visuals, and not looking at the band and what the yeah, band's doing. You know? It's a different experience. It, it is a kind of different experience with a lot that. of our similarities, you know. I've heard people say, think of it more as like going to a movie rather than. Concert. Or an IMAX, you know, yeah. it's like 800 IMAXs, wow. you know, Holy like, shit, I, I can't dude. remember exactly what they say. But. Um, did anybody here read the Washington Post article yesterday with Troy, no. with Troy anesthesia? Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I did after you sent it to me. Um, That's so the, he was talking about like them zooming in on the edge and Bono, right? And like, uh, <laughs> what, Bono. About, what about Cher? her too uh <laughs> and like 900 foot edges up on the thing and and right. and trey was like yeah i'm not really He's into not, doing that that's not, not what you're it. gonna get no. with fish at the sphere i don't expect that at all you two did their thing and it was good right for no i'm you know not i'm mean? not busting on and it was too. totally amazing but yeah i mean there were Much. there were some of the songs that they did kind of focus on the band and have big band on, on the visuals but there were other ones that were completely blowing your mind and like you know their their production designer did amazing job right you know? i mean it was a lot of fun and it was well, i saw that like some of the video where they're showing i mean it looked like you were out on a plateau in the desert I like it was hard to tell the difference it looked so realistic shot, yeah and there was also a shot that had the backdrop of the strip in vegas and you just felt like that you were outside in an outdoor oh, wow. amphitheater like it was oh, incredible that was something i wanted to ask too you may not have known noticed because you were not noticing but uh <laughs> they can change the the temperature in that place they can and there's haptic seats too which we didn't you know experience any of that but they can do things like that or i've heard it's you know they can change the temperature by 20 degrees in 10 seconds like or something seconds. like that yeah what would be a reason for doing that but because they're going to be doing a lot of documentary shows like kind of like national geographic like right. the polar experience so like, like, like when it goes yeah, yeah they like go from the jungle to a blizzard and they can do gusts of wind and they I encourage everybody if you haven't already to go to the spheres website and that's where you can look if you click on the button the science it breaks it down all these mathematical equations and it explains very everything. very elementary they can, stuff they can <laughs> send they can send sound oh. like to one person sitting next to yeah, another it yes it, it, it is it's well, insane the science that went so into it normal sound comes out of a speaker as a wave right it comes out and just like you would see a wave start in the ocean and, and then extend itself onto the beach. That sound does the same thing. 
Um, the speakers that they have at the Sphere are Beam technology. Right, I think Dolby Atmos. Atmos, yeah. So they can, they have these four circles that aren't fish donuts on the floor <laughs> when you walk in. And when the robot is there, uh -huh. you can stand next to each other, one person in each circle, and they can beam sound to me standing next to you that you can't hear. Right, right. Crazy. Isn't yeah. that wild? That's, yeah. that's wild. So we are legitimately in the fucking future. Yeah. So they, maybe, they can maybe Jordan's going to have a different show than... Oh my God. Yeah, like you're going to be gonna hearing gonna Fly, Famous Mockingbird, <laughs> and Jordan's going to be hearing Tweezer. Yeah. Oh my God. That'll be that so fun. Everybody's, yeah. Everybody's dancing all different. What'd you get? Yeah. Exactly. Oh, so, really? That was last time. <laughs> the other thing that, that folks may not know if they didn't uh, read that Washington Post article yesterday, uh, the production designer kind of gave away a couple of Easter eggs about the shows. Oh. She said that each, she wants each show to be an Easter egg, first of all, uh, but that there will be a theme each night and, right. and that the theme continues from night to night, but it is different every night. Right. So there's a underlying um, theme. Theme. Thanks, Jordan. Yeah. Uh, that one is said too. This could be a different theme for everybody. And Kendall, and yeah. said too. Yeah. If you're sitting there, your theme might be Passover. Yeah. yeah. Totally. I didn't, I didn't say something, but like, like, and you'll see they all kind of come together <laughs> over over the four night experience yeah. and makes more sense. And then day four is the culmination of yeah. all so, the experiences and then it makes sense. And for all of you that like are because i actually thought this i was like well one thing that they could do is like play an entire album right like do round room or whatever I hope not. yeah uh but <laughs> how appropriate but they they actually said in that article no that that's like something that fish will never do that's yeah. never going to happen so those of you that have placed prop bets in vegas that that's what's going to go down you just lost Okay. Sorry, Ooh. very sorry. Dang. I have a question for you, Darren. <clears throat> yes, sir. When you walked into the sphere before the music started, before you two went on, mm -hmm. what was on the screens, if anything? Nothing. Nothing. Oh. Yeah, nothing okay. until the show started. It just looked like it was a, a cement dome. It wasn't you know? no like big McDonald's. Is that <laughs> no. yeah. drink Coke. No. <laughs> South Park, actually. Yeah. yeah. Rick and Morty episodes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> be fucking no, awesome. There was nothing. And I kind of and I kind of like that because yes. I don't want to be sitting there looking. I, I'd, I'd rather it Is start it? with the show. You want yeah. your palate clean when dinner yeah, exactly. starts. And maybe it's exactly. safer too, just for yeah, people possibly. like yourself to be able to. People so nobody's are... looking at the screen trying to walk yeah. to their seat. Yes. Well, right. well, that, yeah, that's, that's, true. Even that's true. true. Oh, that's yeah. yeah. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. Yeah. Good job, Apple. On. You're yeah, hired. Good thinking. Yeah, that's using your noggin. Especially uh, people hopped up on the candy. On goofballs. Yeah, on I'll, I'll hop it up on uh, glue. You said I could speak You can. Candy. You can. You can. Uh, to us, Jordan, you got to watch. Yeah. It. yeah. <laughs> and you can't let anybody on YouTube hear you. Yeah. So oh, other than that, right. we're good. Um, <laughs> so if you do get vertigo, I've heard that what you do is look at your feet. That's the move. You recenter yourself by looking down at your feet. If any of you have ever done um, VR, and you get v vertigo from VR, and then I think that this could probably cause that. So whatever you do, That's mind your shoes. Thing. Whatever, whatever, you, whatever do, you do, take care of your shoes. shoes. Focus, yeah, on your shoes. Focus on your shoes. Focus on your shoes. Okay. Um, all right. So we. Right, do you have any predictions for a theme, Aaron? No. I. You got to make one. I don't. I, okay, it's going to be Santa Claus themed. I don't know. <laughs> I fucking have no I like clue. I, I'm in. Um, I think that it's going to be fucking amazing that's my prediction i i really i can't conceive of what they possibly can do it, i because they just did game hinge yeah and they even when you think you might have them figured out no they'll, no, they'll, they'll no it could be you know a nor a swedish fucking cover band yeah the, yeah that's what i was thinking actually yes yeah they're gonna do growl core for four nights oh my gosh i hope Troy Anesthesia is listening. I do too. He may, he may even switch his theme right now. Thank you, Troy. <laughs> like, why didn't I think of that? <laughs> Guys, now. start from scratch. <laughs> we got a we got a couple days. Okay. So after the show, how was how was getting out of 
the, the menu. Were you able to leave? It's smooth. <laughs> okay. yeah. Yeah, but I didn't want to because I always like the post show hang. And yeah, this guy, yeah. no, I love to stick around. Us too. We show. were there till the people, yeah, and we're they have to kick me out. You know what I mean? Yeah, Same. Uh, but no, Which really has easy. happened. Yeah, it was really easy. You know, uh, were they didn't let you linger? No, uh, you know, I mean, they pretty much started, you know, you know shuffling right, people go. out yeah. a oh. few minutes after. And, you know, were people smoking weed during the show? I didn't see one person smoking weed or cigarettes. I did see some people taking vape pen hits, but on the DL. And so, you know, uh, my thing was, is that I was really happy to be there and I didn't want to push the envelope in that way because it wasn't that kind of crowd. Now, I think at a fish show, it might be a little different. I think if everybody decides to light up, I don't know if they're going to be able to stop it, but Dude. but I wouldn't want to get kicked out. Who That's, wants to get oh, kicked yeah, out? Yeah, I don't, yeah, don't want to get ejected from so a fish eat, show. So eat edibles, you know. I mean, like, yeah, you know, exactly. Figure something out. Yeah, enjoy. Just don't the, get kicked out. Enjoy the few hours of experience, exactly. and then you can go do what you want after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's, you know, I just wasn't that concerned about it yeah. to do that, and I didn't want to push the envelope because it was definitely a special experience worth. And expecting, it's a, and that's know? a fucking yeah. expensive envelope too. It is. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And security in Vegas don't mess. They don't mess around. They don't mess around. That, get unruly. That's that's something to call out for everybody. So, yeah, we lived in Vegas for thirty years. Um, Vegas is <clears throat> different than any other town in the world. Um, even Atlantic City, or like places, other places where they have gambling. Vegas has a very um, strong culture of hospitality, mm-hmm. and also is used to people being super fucked up right yeah, at, at, oh, yeah. at stuff and there's a very low tolerance for bullshit mm-hmm. in vegas and, just uh, kick you and out. they will just kick you out yeah. and and when i say kick you out they take you off the fucking property off they the don't grounds, just kick yeah. you out of the venue mm-hmm. they take you off the property they 86 you <laughs> yeah and when you get 86 from a property there's facial recognition cameras now mm-hmm when you if you if you try and walk back in they immediately come over and kick you the fuck back out and if Mm. you keep it up they will take you to jail i i've even heard of it too because like a lot of i mean it's so corporate now that like like caesar's entertainment owns half of the strip (laughs) if you get 86 from a place you could possibly get 86 (laughs) from like 12 properties right right so basically what i'm trying to say is be cool fish family Mm. I, I love you guys and, and girls and, and everybody else that's included in that. And uh, I know how we are, man. I'm I'm right there with all of you. But this one, you might want to put on your grown up shoes for this, agree with this one and try and like because also we don't want the sphere and Vegas being like those fucking fish fans were a bunch yeah. of dumb whoops like a Red Rocks thing. Yeah, back we want to respect. Right? I mean, what, what, what's what? The, oh, it's a Red Rocks thing. Back in the what day. year was that? Uh, 96, I believe. Yeah. Bad scene at Red Rocks. And what happened? They weren't asked back for a, a long time, for like forever, right? Is that right? They, they played their another run after, and then I think they're just too big for Red Rocks. But right. Basically, I think that was it. I think Fish was playing Red Rocks when they were too big for Red Rocks. It's much like us. It, Huh. And the, the crowd was just <laughs> too big for red. That wasn't there. Disrespectful. But it, it, it just got like what? bad. And, you know, people fighting. Yeah, and people going onto people's properties who live uh, around Red Rocks and just camping everywhere and not being respectful of other people's stuff. And you know, I don't know mm-hmm. the whole story. I just remember hearing. Which, we, at the end of the day, to me, comes down to being respectful to the band to what trey and the boys did they did this for us respect right, right. the band yeah so yeah. we could see this again <laughs> don't and, leave your mark like that yeah <laughs> yeah and i and, I, and I think we are you know they're i feel like the fish crowd has has matured quite a bit as well and like that i think that was kind of and gotten older got yeah and gotten yeah. older maybe you've gotten older <laughs> <laughs> for sure i heard in the, in the sphere you can get older faster like well yeah they yeah can, time they is actually change, different change your age <laughs> through the science yeah, the they mathematics can change your, yeah, they can the science, age you yeah, exactly you might need to know the pythagorean theorem yeah. but you know they, they give you time travel they'll send you back to right. the mafia days and you won't just get kicked out yeah you you'll end up in the desert in an alley <laughs> by, <laughs> by uh what's it called searchlight by searchlight nevada <laughs> but i was gonna say people are like taking the over under and how many you know people are going to fall and wipe out i i think it's going to be different i think that this is a bunch of professional yeah showgoers i and, agree with that and there is you know there just has been a lot of discussion about the potential 
you know, for slipping and vertigo. And, and I think people, you know, and it's not cheap to, no. to go no. there. And I think yeah, people like, are going to want to make the most of it. And so I don't know my prediction. People are going to come correct. I might be the one that slips, okay. but <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to take the under. What are the odds on Jordan slipping? <laughs> I got your back. Jordan. I won't let you fall. Man. So I would say wear outfits that don't have any, problems around your feet no long trains, yeah like big no fuzzy clothes. slippers <laughs> with animal claws Maybe clo- no i said no long trains but clogs uh, okay. if you can dance in clogs I, i'm, I'm right. four clogs yeah i'm a clogger yeah <laughs> jordan are you bringing your wooden shoes with you yeah okay right. good yeah. Me too. Right um that'd be so fun the band would love that <laughs> <laughs> okay so, so after, we got wait we, a minute so after your you two was it just back to the hotel? Did you do a little after party? Uh, yeah, was we that? ended up going to uh, the outside bar that's right outside the link, the outdoor bar. And mm. I can't remember the name of it. And there's always some like awesome, cheesy Def Leppard cover band. Oh, yeah, I know the something. spot. It's right I across love, from the Brook and Bowl. Yeah, I <laughs> yeah. love that spot. So we went there after uh, U2, after U2 the second time, and after Tool right on yeah oh, was, and, okay was yeah. the band was it steel panther oh i mean it was something like that i, I can't remember, remember. That, they were around yeah. they've been around ones. forever there some playing some foreigner songs and then afterwards oh, right there was on. like a bunch of people who hung out and were having a dance off i mean it was just it's constant <laughs> entertainment okay. i love going to that bar afterwards That's you know a fun little spot. yeah i just can't remember yeah. the name of it but that place is awesome though we'll have yeah. to look it up and put it in the comments there's, yeah there's like a few um notable after party so the the first one i want to mention so now we're on to the after party section of the show um yeah ai this is where we're talking about after parties um the first one i want to call out is eggy at the brooklyn bowl in las vegas on thursday april 18th 2024 april 18th yes so eggy will be at the brooklyn bowl and then who we got dogs in a pile pile. have you guys seen eggy yes oh yeah yes we have we love Nice. Have you seen Eggie? Have not seen Eggie, but I. It'll be a treat. See, yeah. It'll Wait. Treat. Do we have dogs in a pile doing it? Look, uh, look for it because I. Uh, I, I thought. Uh oh. Um. I'm not sure. I, I could be talking shit. Well, I was talking but shit. LP. Dog I know. Shit. Well, go see them anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah go, go see Are dogs in sure? pile because they're great. Mm, yeah, I'm <laughs> sure. Um, they're they're in San Diego and Venice and, and other places. Okay. Um, LPGOB is going to be playing a late night. Uh. Who else? You said the At motet. The Brooklyn... No, I did not say the motet. Um, I said Dopapod. Dopapod and oh, really? Circles Around the Sun. Oh, are what? playing. Oh, that's cool. I think they're playing two nights. They're playing at the site of Meow Wolf, where, oh. where you've been. I think they're yeah. playing. From what I read last night, they're playing simultaneously, which means at the same time. April eighteenth, yeah. Las okay. Vegas. Yeah. Um, not like when... on the same stage, but you can like if you're at the venue, you can. You can't do both at Area Fifteen. You, you, well, you you can't do them at the. You can do both. Not at the same time. Well, <laughs> well I don't know with the sphere and the, the science. Sphere, like, yeah. you, know, you might be able to be two places at the you're same time. Right. You're so right. we we've got circles around the sun. We've got LPGOB, uh, Circa, Eggy, Dopapod. That's a lot of afters. And then also, for those of you that don't know what Meow Wolf Hold is. Hold on. Um, circles around the sun is on the seventeenth. So, just, so it's the night it before be, the first it night. Be four, it might be yes. two nights possibly. Okay, well, let me look. Um, so there's there's a place in, in Vegas yes, called Meow Wolf. You're true. At Area 15. At, yeah. And it is a psychedelic wonderland. Um, Meow Wolf is... I, I can't even put... It's like trying to describe your experience at the sphere right it's an interactive museum that is psychedelic yeah with lots of different artists and lots of different interactive art and things you would never think of it is really hard to explain but look it up you it's, know a, what I it's mean? on their website it says go. omega mart explore america's most exceptional grocery store oh, in, yeah. in and more and yes more yes at meow wolf second experiment Permanent exhibition, the unpredictably mind scrambling, perspective shifting Omega Mart. Yep. I know that Alex Gray has some art He's installations in, in there, a room also, that you can go my, in. Remember my friend Robin, the body painter? She's involved with them too, with Meow Wolf. Okay. Yeah. So that's something that yeah, you could I'll do. do I, I don't know how late they're open. They're, I think they're open till midnight on the weekends or maybe even just 11. But if people want are looking for something to do during the day, yeah. I would call and get reservations and I would save two to th- you'd want to be in there two to three hours yeah two hours would be enough 
but, but you, you want, want to spend mingle. more time yeah. in there because you need to find doorways and ways and it's kind of oh it's a whole thing like it's a whole thing but it's so much fun and it's you know i mean i enjoyed being elevated in there i'll say that yeah absolutely no doubt so it might be something to start early on one day and start yourself go before the show book a book a trip to meow wolf exactly exactly but that's 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 a long day but that's a lot of fun yeah yeah, we're we're professionals yeah i was also (laughs) i'm hearing a wall of sound grateful dead cover band okay on 420 Oh, the Fremont Backstage Country Club. And Love Billiards. Fremont. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that. No, I don't know no, that venue. No, I don't either. Um, but Love Fremont, though. I mean, yeah, love Fremont's, going down. Yeah, yeah. downtown. Yeah, love going down. Tell me, speaking of Fremont Street, kind of, I don't know if it's cool if we diverge here for a second. Sure, yeah. let's do it. Um, <clears throat> what are some places like on around Fremont Street that you guys? Oh, man. Um, the Heart Attack <sighs> Grill. Ew. <laughs> oh, God. Is that is even down, there? Down there? Yeah, yeah, it's there. Um, still there. If you want to... You, if you're that over mob th- museum, remember? if you're over 300 pounds, you eat for free at the Heart Attack it, Grill. It, it is the really epitome yeah. of scale. They have a scale. Have a scale. Wow. I'm not bullshitting. Huh. The waitresses yeah. are all dressed in nurse outfits. They take your blood Ooh. pressure. <laughs> There's a thing to weigh you. I it's like a whole that. Thing. Yeah, yeah, it's a if you get a milk, sh- the milkshake has the highest Ooh. milk fat content of any milkshake on the planet, and is served with a pat of butter on top. Wow. And they have the 10 EMTs on. They actually, I'm not, I'm not being silly right now. They actually have had people die eating there. Wow. It's, yeah. It's, yeah. It's maybe, 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 maybe you save should go. It's, post. it's awesome. But, yeah. but, maybe save that for post. But, I mean, yeah. Free, Fremont yeah. street is an experience In because itself. most yeah, of it, it's there's no traffic. Awesome. You're walking up and down it. And the, the, the cover the, they have the over cover it. It's always fun. With, yeah. With you know? displays. Especially post they, show. They, oh, yeah. It's been a while yeah. since we've been there. I hear there's been a lot of changing. There's a lot of street performers, but there's they now have guidelines and like spots they have to stay in. Yeah. Cause it got to where there was fights. But like you see Spider Man and Michael Jackson going at it wow. over a spot. Who won? I've that already way. seen that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but it, it's very interesting downtown. There's they a, they also have a, a zip line that you can do, do yeah. down yeah. down yeah. in Fremont. So wow. it's called the Fremont Street Experience. Yeah, and it's a covered, no traffic, pedestrian only area Video that's maybe above. maybe about three football fields long. Yeah, and the top is. LED screens nowhere near what you're gonna see inside the sphere, but like really cool. They like kind of kicked it off. Yeah, 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 so much fun. Maybe Trey is gonna zip line into that. I think that's <laughs> that's <laughs> the they're yeah. building From a special zip line from the Fremont Street to the sphere. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dressed up as well, Elvis. and there's and, several good I don't I'm not sure <laughs> yeah. the name. There's several Dressed good uh like bars with live music. There's oh, you know yeah. a lot Old of live music venue. down there. What about really atomic, good atomic liquors is one in my research. Um it's the oldest oldest bar. liquor store bar yeah, it's supposed to be just a great yeah and that's bar. down at the very bottom that's outside of the fremont street experience mm-hmm. down below it when you get out but and yeah it's been there forever and there's a lot that's where the uh cargo container park is with yeah. all the restaurants and stuff and some art installations so uh, for uh, most fish fans are used to traveling around the country and and going into seedy rough parts of town and and that um there's been a lot of gentrification downtown las vegas for years going on but i will say once you get east of like the fremont street experience if you keep heading east the further you go like when you get past the container park where all the Mm -hmm. the food trucks and stuff are it's dicey down in in fremont street vegas is real cute and safe on the strip and, and close to the mm, other totally. but until it's not and and it's just like any other gnarly big city downtown that you've been to so mind your down. mind your p's and q's yeah. down there if you get away from the tourist areas folks right. yeah heads up good yeah. good intel right there yeah um what else jordan what else we got um on my list like for dive bars which you know we're just talking about dive bars um Golden Tiki and Frankie's Frank's Tiki Frank's Room. Tiki room. Yeah, yeah. Talk to me about that a little bit. So Frank's Tiki Room is a little bit off the strip. I think it's on Charleston, kind of near um, uh, the hospital. So it's a great place to go if you're feeling yeah. weird, but you still want to get fucked going. up. Yeah, it's, like it's right it's next a, to yeah. University Medical Center. It's a little tiki theme. Yeah, it's fun. the whole inside of the bar is like dark, dark <laughs> and there's tiki's everywhere and Polynesian themes. Uh, the matchbook cover was designed by me i don't know if it's still no way. That. really yeah let's go there and get some matches yeah <laughs> i don't know if it, i don't know if it's still 
Aaron will be signing matchbook covers, yeah. possibly outside. The, oh. Um, and uh, the they have like you know all of the uh, traditional Polynesian drink specials like zombies, mai tais, um, chi chis, all that stuff, okay. and they're relatively cheap. It's off strip pricing for that's stuff. Good. That's that's something to call out to. Um, oh yeah, you're gonna pay more for drinks on the strip for anything if you want to get some uh you know cheaper stuff one of the places on the strip that you can go to is called slots of fun and it's <laughs> and, and it's, is it still there it's oh it's still there it's still there it's still there they uh, it's right next to circus circus if you're facing circus circus it's on the left wow. side and uh that place has like i think 50 cent coronas yeah is that right? Yeah, yeah something like, like that. Yeah, yeah. Super cheap. Like 25 cent quarter yeah. pound hot dogs. Right. And they, yeah, the, you can, well, you can people, experience cheap Vegas. Right. There yeah, still. Most people will just buy alcohol like at like Walgreens. Well, yeah, Walgreens or, yeah. or the place across from the Sahara. What's that big liquor store yeah, across, right Lee's across from the Sahara? Lee's I, discount I, liquor. Yeah, yeah. That place is awesome. I mean, the last couple of yeah. times we've been there, we go buy alcohol at Walgreens and that yeah, place. Yeah, makes sense. And put them in our room. And, you know, I mean, because it's the sphere. A beer or a mixed drink for a single twenty bucks. It's twenty bucks. Yeah. What? Oh yeah. Just bucks. just expect yeah. it. Just expect it. It's I don't not, drink, so it's I'm not good. Cheap. Well, I'm just saying. Oh, a lot of, yeah. a lot of people do. Yeah, that's something, absolutely. Something they, that we missed. What's the water situation? Okay, water inside situation. The venue? You can bring in a empty plastic bottle. Okay. Oh really? Yeah. You okay. And there's water fill stations yeah, so, inside so the sphere. No glass. No aluminum. Okay. I think we have to read because the website is really good. It has yeah. all the information. Yeah. On it. But yes, you can bring in both night. Both times I was there, I brought in an empty water bottle and just didn't pay for water because I don't want to pay ten bucks for no. a no. bottle of water. No. Although you know I, I, I'm, I lived in Vegas for thirty years, man, and I've lived around the country. I, I can honestly say. Vegas municipal water is the most disgusting shit <laughs> on the it's, planet. It's like, and I'm not I'm like sure it's treated. I'm not a fussy water bitch either. Like I don't I'll like drink cool it. Water. It, it. It literally it is not, it's like, not the it's greatest. Disgusting. I like cool yeah. water. That's um <laughs> yeah, that's good to know. I'm from New York, which we have good water there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're lucky. I'm, I'm a water snob. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite? My favorite? New York City. New York City water. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that makes sure. sense. Um and then there's a couple of dive bars that uh are off the strip that are very BJ's. local. Yeah, BJ's, BJ's is a one good of them. Uh, oh, local friendly places that you can go where you will be. If you were in any other town and you went to a local bar, you may get looked askance at, right. you know, because like, who the fuck are you? Why are you? Vegas isn't like that. Yeah. Just you can go anywhere. Uh, the PT's pubs are always good for cheap food and drinks. There are sports bars that you can go to and sit at a video poker machine. And Magoo. Here's a here's a hot tip: if you're at a bar like that and they have sit down video poker machines, you can play video poker at any speed you want, and your drinks are free while you're playing video poker. So yeah. you will not yeah. have to pay for That's your drinks. Yeah. What, speaking of cheap drinks, tell me about the double down. Oh so my man. gosh! Double the double down. down is where you. That's like the yeah. punk rock bar well, in vegas well when i was working valet that was like the everybody would go there after work that's the and spot just, yeah, industry yeah, spot industry spot, industry spot exactly and just those spots dollar pbrs and stuff <laughs> right, like that yeah right yeah, yeah. yeah. um and a, a lot of history in the double down i know like like back in the day like the, the dead kennedys and black flag nice. and all that shit awesome over there yeah so another uh, spot darren mentioned was the pepper mill and it's the that's what i had pulled up yeah, I was waiting it's noteworthy to say, yeah. yeah it's been around since 1972 yeah. and it it, it it it's dope it, yeah it's like huge fireplace in the middle the way yeah, it's lit that bar signature great. cocktails yeah, that are just carpeting. like you can get bowls of cocktails yeah, and, and you, volcanoes and yeah and that, you may have to wait 45 minutes for a table there but when you sit down your food comes correct and quick too oh really Mo at least the last few times i've been there we've right waited on. for a while to get a table but once we got sat down and finally got our order in it was quick okay quick Heck yeah so yeah. uh it's worth the wait day yeah, i agree daytime eats if you want to go get something to eat I, during the day where, where's well, your spot i, I would say that well not just daytime but that like the places to eat breakfast lunch dinner whatever the area uh the link area where the big ferris wheel is is an amazing shopping and restaurant area brooklyn bowl is in there 
Brooklyn Bowl has amazing food. Right. Uh, fried chicken, yeah, I heard is Yeah, insane. fried chicken insane. is on point. They have a place called Hash House of Go-Go, which is like insane portions of food. American uh, comfort food with like chicken and waffles, um, bananas, foster, French French toast. All nice. kinds of trippy Benedicts and stuff. Yeah. And he, like you go eat there. I mean, four people could eat one yeah. serving of food. Wow. And Their be pancake. Full. Pancake is about 18 inches in diameter. Wow. it's it's huge they, they also have a place there called off the strip uh which is like an, an italian kind of bistro restaurant appetizers really good italian mm -hmm. food started out as a small joint out where we, where used, we to used to live, to live. Okay. and then they got bigger and popular and opened up some more locations. that was like our favorite local spot huh. to go like we'd all meet up and go have dinner at off the strip nice, nice. yeah nice. and then they also had the other one really noteworthy yard house oh, yeah. uh, oh, that's yeah. all over the country they, they have yeah. those in other places some yeah. of my favorite fish dishes and then they have like the tilted kilt and a few other but there's cool shopping experience is really good for us yeah the whole strip place. outside of there yeah That's there's up. a lot to do in the link area a little bit further south on the strip is town square and mm -hmm. inside town square is like your typical outdoor america shopping mall right like with a store. lot of yeah. restaurants got, like, they got the cat the cadillac bar which is a big cadillac always, grill the cadillac oh, grill right. where they're always doing stuff really good italian restaurant there same thing a lot of good places whole to eat there yeah there. there's a whole foods mm -hmm. down there if you want to like go stock your room up with you know healthy food I don't know yeah. why you would want to do that, yeah. but well, there's and then, yeah. then of course, you, like, like you, yeah. you you look to Vegas is now famous for all of the like celebrity chef restaurants. Oh, you're yeah. gonna pay. You're gonna you're gonna need reservations. You're gonna pay a lot, but they're fun. Yeah. Every hotel has one. Yeah, yeah. Cosmopolitan yeah. has a lot of great food there. They do. Yeah, like Mama Fuku is there. The, the bees, venue at the Cosmo is awesome as well. Like near oh, yeah. the pool area overlooking mm. the Strip. I don't know if anybody's yeah. ever been to. It, a concert there but it's amazing if you are uh you know this this trip is is expensive for all of us so if while you're there you don't want to like spend a million dollars or go to momofuku you uh, a place called roberto's taco shop Ooh, yeah. has some of the best mexican greasy spoon food nice. you've ever yeah, had so good. just amazing like uh, carne asada fries and case of and, it, and, fucking and then I, I would I throw on top that not quite as cheap but not really expensive one of my favorite places I always go to for good Italian food there's uh, Roma's Deli there's two of them in town it's a little off the strip but this is like family owned fresh baked bread every day grandma making the sauce in nice. the kitchen beef brujol okay oh, it, it, yeah. Ro roma's more. deli is amazing and then also we we're idea. talking about pizza joints villa pizza um there's yeah. probably a lot of new stuff we don't know about but a staple in vegas since we were kids is villa pizza uh and there's several locations just villa, incredibly good yeah. pizza villa is wings. your um typical new york style thin crust crunchy mm -hmm. blistered mm -hmm pizza no. it's ah, fucking so good. good man we grew Jordan, up on you, garlic shit. Knots you were bomb. talking about a couple of pizza places yeah i was looking last night i looked on eater i was telling you about the website mm -hmm. Eater. they just have reviews and news about restaurants they like they do select cities it was like an eater for you know like las vegas la portland anyway if you go to eater vegas um like you can look up eater vegas pizza eater vegas best brunch spots um anyway, what do you got uh joe's pizza joe's famous pizza from new york um really oh that we went pizza. there with my mom it's it's amazing joe's new york pizza yeah, yeah. It's, do you uh, remember no it's a famous spot I drink from wine new york there. city and they just they expanded to vegas in the past few years yeah it's really but anyway, good but they're open till 4 a.m on the weekends and oh, deliver nice. apparently that's i don't nice. know what their delivery range is but i mean after yeah. a show 4 oh a.m yes sometimes yeah. that's just like that's yeah. that's one of the beauties of going to las vegas and one of the things i missed when we moved to portland was you you can get food anytime good yeah. oh yeah food Any, no, at 24 yeah. 7. yeah when i moved up here i was like everything's closed at like 10. what's a sleepy fuck? town or yeah. Or, yeah. yeah 
Yeah. Um, yeah. That's well, nice. I mean, the Pepper Mill on Fridays and Saturdays is open 24 7. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, they're open 24 okay. hours. So they it's don't close. Well, that's what you're saying. Uh, <laughs> I was going to throw in, too, because we, we talked about a couple things, me and Aaron and Mel. There are two other places I would throw in the mix here. Uh, one one of them is uh, Lotus of Siam. Oh, oh yeah. for a right. sit down. This it, is for a sit down. Sit down Thai, food. Thai, and this is not your regular Thai. This is like a world renowned. They've got a reputation. You can go like get this. Did they have? It's called Walk Lobster, <laughs> and they cut and they do a whole lobster <laughs> at nice. the table and a walk oh, and stuff. On. But they and then Paymons. Oh, Paymons, yeah. Paymons my is amazing place you want to tell more about yeah I'll, I'll talk a little bit about paymonts paymonts is a spot it's a middle eastern theme restaurant uh, really good like uh, falafel um, moussaka mm. stuff like that yeah uh, their eggplant parmesan is and they also have stuff like nice. that and they also have like um so that's so bomb, orange piccata, ruffy or orange, orange ruffy, ruffy piccata. Piccata. But at the time the, you could do hookah that's what right. i was just gonna say so the there's a location it's pretty far from the strip west sahara it's on west sahara but i would say it would be a really cool place to like get your crew together maybe before. four hours before the show mm -hmm. everybody take a, an uber or a cab or whatever go up to paymons they have a hookah room mm -hmm. and you can it's like a bedouin tent and you can like sit in this hookah <laughs> room awesome, and smoke hookah and they bring you food in there too wow. and they have like Dope. teas from all over the world nice. and, and, and it, the atmosphere is tea. fucking dope and oh, that sounds cool. they're super nice in there and, and it's a really good spot to like just smoke hookah and have food and hang out it's really cool another nice. fun um one is marrakesh which is the one where they that's have like the dancing that's a lot closer to the strip it's actually really close to the sphere um, yeah the other way their food's incredible so the marrakesh is also like a bedouin tent on the inside this is <laughs> you you'll need reservations for marrakesh um prefix menu prefix menu you go in you sit on the floor nice. and uh they they bring you like just all kinds of everything you eat everything with your hands there's belly dancers there's a whole show it's mm. it's so much fun yeah, that's to really go in fun. there and it's a whole experience in marrakesh can you belly dance yourself if you i want? can i okay. i actually was that's where i worked <laughs> okay. when we were there um but before Design i left I, yeah, I, just, I had to I had to stop didn't you work at uh, a strip bar too and just well, me, but I know yeah. like a lot of people. Well, he, he was a cocktail waitress, but then they figured out with the beard. They're yeah. like, wait, what, dude? So it's strip bars. Yeah, strip bars. I know a lot of people. Oh, right. that's Lots kind of, of them. Synonymous with Vegas. I'm not so. Like a big strip I mean, bar you guy, just but... kind of get shuffled into a strip bar. Well, there's there's one de that I know of that we went to a couple of times. It was a Spearmint Rhino. Oh, strip. Okay, I'm sorry. Strip I, thought, bars. I thought you meant strip like, club. Okay. Like, like bars on the strip. Yes. No, no, strip club. That's why I was like, yeah, you kind of get shuffled there into strip clubs. No, okay. yeah. Don't different. ask for the finest bottle of champagne. Just, yeah, yeah. There, there's and there is so no many champagne. Strip clubs there. Well, there's champagne. always a hierarchy. The newest one is always the best one. Right. Spearmint Rhino's good. Spearmint Rhino's um, a great There is a score. Olympic, Gar Olympic Garden. Treasures. That, like, yeah. the huge one they built right, the, right? The Hustlers, hustlers on yeah, the side the of the freeway. This question seems and right there's also, I, I, there's also, I think a lot of towns are like that. Like, if it's topless, you can go and get drinks and everything. But then there are like the, the famous Palomino Club. Yeah. Fully uh, nude. Oh, naughty, naughty tender naughty, trap. Naughty girls or something. <laughs> They're fully nude. And for some reason, at a fully nude place, they're not allowed to serve alcohol, but you can bring your own alcohol. Yeah, you can bring in a brown you bag. You bring it in a paper sack, <laughs> and then you buy a cup from them that you have to like kind of discreetly. I don't know if it's still like this, but they, you like pour your own drink in the cup under the table, and then you're allowed to drink. And, and, it's, and, it's the, and right behind the Circus Circus is the Crazy Horse the crazy too. Old school. Yeah. And that is old school mafia owned right. shit. If you go in there, be a good don't, don't get, get cute. Don't don't, don't get, get funny in there. You see the movie go, you'll know what we're yep. talking about. Well, strip clubs mm -hmm. in Vegas, it's like it's kind of the after party party, and it's fun to go with like a whole group. It's not strictly for females or males. It's like everybody in the party goes, right. has kind of a like great time. Portland. Yeah, you know, yeah. Well, we've never been like a, here, so I I've don't never know. been to a strip club here. Oh, and man, then uh, Sapphire, Sapphire is the one that took oh, over the yeah. the Las Vegas Athletic Club. That said that they because it's it's a strip club. It's got a pool area and all you can of work stuff. out. Yeah, you can go work out. <laughs> it, it, it's, yeah, that's it, pretty it, sweet. Vegas is nuts when it comes to strip clubs. Like you can also, I mean, living in Portland, this isn't a big deal. But there's there's a few clubs. I think Treasures was one. 
um, where you can get like steak dinner and stuff yeah. like that. So if that's your bag, man, yeah, yeah. You, plethora. Titties uh, and steak. Yeah. Titties and steak. Yeah, it's weird. So it's fucking great Vegas. Combo. God, Vegas. Well, and, and then another thing in Vegas, too, is the amount of shows that are there, like the Vegas oh. shows. Oh. Shout right out thing. your sister's show, Vegas. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, my God. The Awakening. Okay. The Awakening. <laughs> go go see The Awakening at Ooh, The, the Win, because my sister is the producer. <laughs> and, and there are a lot of shows. I mean, I, I would I would personally endorse in anything that involved Cirque. with Cirque. Yeah, yeah. Cirque du Soleil stuff oh, is yeah. amazing. The, Beatle, the Beatles love, love show. I think They're... Sid's going to go see Dita Von Teese. She's doing, she has a residency somewhere. I'm not exactly, I think at the Flamingo. Hmm. Not exactly yeah. sure, but. I mean, there there is, what do you, there what is do, no lack of entertainment. What do we no, got, Jordan, that we haven't covered? Uh, I've got a whole list of things. Let's I mean, hear it. We're covering covering <laughs> wow. a lot. I mean, I haven't been to a lot of these places, okay. so it's great to hear places that Wait, you Don't guys... forget um, Troy's Bar in the Golden Nugget. That was from Rhythm's Ground. Hmm. Thank you. And yeah. do we have to sign a waiver? No, we do not have to <laughs> sign a waiver. Mm -mm. Um, is it? For, well, it was the tapers. <laughs> okay. And blaze, blaze on. on. Yeah. Okay. So, those are the comments and Joe, on YouTube what's up, so far. Joe? What's up, Joe? All right, Jordan, where are we? Well, mm, kind of got stuff all over here, but as far as pizza goes, um, oh, yeah, we places just that really kind of piqued my interest were um, Good Pie. That's okay. the name of the place. Good Actually, Pie. Good that, pie. that makes sense. But there's a place that was uh, piqued my interest, Double Zero Pie and Pub. It's a Tokyo style Neapolitan Tokyo style, style pizza. Wait, which, okay, what? That's well, I yeah. don't know that's anything huge. about that. Yeah. You yeah. heard right. Explain that one. It was actually yeah. funny. Um, you, you say that because <clears throat> I was watching something the other day where somebody was in Tokyo said they had the best pizza of their lives ever. I can't remember the name I of the place. I think it was. Was it Whoa. Somebody Feeds Phil? <sighs> it, it probably was on there too. It's, it seems like a place that's okay. there's like a buzz about it. Yeah. Like people are saying it's like the some of the pizza. best pizza in the world. I'll have to look up the name of it. I would have never Anywho, thought it. We'll have place, to take a weekend trip. Yeah. <laughs> let's go let's go get we'll some pizza in Tokyo. Tokyo. <laughs> one night. Um, but yeah, this place, Double Zero, has Tokyo-style Neapolitan pizza. Nice. Um, there's a place called Pizza Cake by Buddy Velastro. Okay. It's the only strip-side pizzeria. Um, that's open till 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. on the yes. weekend. That's nice. Well that's done. Good to know. Yeah, they have a late night flaming hot chicken pizza with like, like Cheeto dust or something oh like that. <laughs> good, <laughs> good decision. Well, <laughs> four yeah. Yeah. In there. That's well, when you're yeah, making quality <laughs> food well, choices. Well, if that wasn't enough, there's an evil Knievel themed pizza place called Evil Pie. Chicks dig scars <laughs> on <laughs> Fremont Street. Wow. It's supposed to be <laughs> okay. very good. Okay. Um, there's a lot I haven't heard of. Yeah, there's. It seems like the pizza like, scene oh, out that there evil is, evil one. is really burgeoning. A place called the Pizzeria, aka Secret Pizza, New York style slices. Whoa, Ooh. that cause insane lines late night at the Cosmopolitan. So, okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, what have we missed on your other like other to do, to -do. stuff or anything? Is there any yeah. New Haven? Yeah. Style we, have we not gotten to anything there? we needed to on Jordan's notes? No, not necessarily. Just have some, you know, I'm here. You know some bars with live music. Um, what do you got? I think I think you mentioned the Sand Sand, Sand Dollar, Dollar Lounge. Lounge. Yeah, mm. apparently Mick Jagger's mm. played there before. Um, place called Rebar, which sounds cool. Mm. They have vegan options too for there we go for our, our vegan oh. friends out there. We love all our vegan listeners. Yeah, yes we do. Uh, I'm sorry you're all hungry and skinny. <laughs> <laughs> Hennessy's Tavern. You guys familiar no, with Hennessy's Tavern? I'm not. It's, uh, oh. it's on Fremont Street. Sounds like an Irish pub. Uh, Pinky Ring, which is uh, Bruno That's, Mars has a new spot. Oh, I was gonna oh, say it's yeah. a mafia yes. bar. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. it's yes. a Bellagio. Um, we didn't also mention just regular clubs, regular clubs like nightclubs at the, on the strip. I like don't know any clubs. of them anymore. There, I know they do change their names. Yes, dance clubs quite often, but that's another place if you feel like going. And How, but you couldn't do that if dance. you're going to the show. No, that's uh, oh, late, late night. night. Oh, yeah, that's, that's right. They, they yeah, open at have... ten o'clock, so usually... and they change so quickly because what was the one of the big ones was like rain at the Paul. Oh my god, that was so long ago. Was, you see, that was like twenty years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty five years ago. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, now they're like new. We don't offer any names. That was like them, when I drove my like... Etzel. <laughs> well, and another thing in Vegas too. One of my favorite things was all a lot of times in the casinos, and I imagine for events like this, like 
there's really good long standing lounge acts. Oh, yeah. There's like there's like a guy a cookie cookie jar and the crumbs, and then there's Dick Cheese. Dick Cheese, and is good. you know they're just these great fun Vegas lounge acts. Oh, that, something we didn't mention too. Vegas is is uh, famous for its buffet scene. So if you want to load up on nobody wants to talk about well, food. yeah and nobody supposedly not to. as much I'm, well anymore but caesar's palace has bacchanal yeah um that's pretty yeah. good the m has a yeah, passable have- buffet mm-hmm. uh, green valley ranch green valley ranch local buffet. casino we have reservations at a place called it's not a buffet but it's a place called yardbird which is famous for their fried chicken and supposed to be an awesome brunch it's in the venetian i believe Ooh, okay yeah. i saw that looking at ones this morning that's new to me but yeah. sound it looked and sounded and amazing. also yeah. i mean look the spas the spas in vegas are where it's at what spa if, would you recommend highest i mean any honestly but, any spa. but if you were balling out if i was balling out i'd probably go to the encore okay but Why? there's also Pamper there's yourself. also new um there's also new hotels that have opened that I have not gotten to see their spas. And every time a spa comes, it's bigger and better and more spectacular. Um, the Cosmo has a dope spa. Like Caesars, Caesars is amazing. They have the, like, the Middle Eastern. The M where I used to work is great. What's the Middle Eastern spa the Hamas. Called? Hama- oh, yeah. Hama- yeah. Ooh, no, not the, no. Hum- no, no, not the Hamas. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's that's the, the wrong thing. No. Um, <laughs> I was not. But it starts with the H. Yes, it is. It's like a. Hamam. Hamam. There it okay. is. Yeah, that Hamam. sounds a little Thank more you. gentle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, what goes on at these spots? So we're talking about. There, well, there's a lot of that. So there's some that have like these rooms, like this, a snow room where they kind of recreate like that. They had that in Caesars. And then they have um, different kind of treatments with like um, Shiradara, which is like this ancient technique of dripping oil on your third eye, mm-hmm. hydrating your scalp. And then they have tandem massages. And then they've got like aromatherapy and they've got makeovers and they've got just plain manicures and pedicures and time in the pool and like you can literally be there all day feel like a million bucks when you leave yeah, yeah probably, and that's about what it'll bucks. cost you yeah it does <laughs> yeah. it does but it's really cool because they have now they've got iv therapy in a lot of these spas Whoa. too where you can get rehydrated mm-hmm. Whoa. And go back in and get a little scrub and, you know, scrub the toxins off and then get recharged for the new. I will say it's it's just an amazing addition to your partying in Vegas that maybe people don't think about, but would love as an option. I will say that when we were at Winter Wondergrass, one of the perks of being part of the festival was we got to utilize the IV therapy Hmm. and uh, Mel got an IV Mm -hmm. and said it was great it was dope like they just easily i mean especially if you've got easy veins they just and they were nurses right yeah (laughs) you get iv therapy because because i couldn't do the iv (laughs) i couldn't do it i mean i know yeah i would be able to and and, but i got a b12 shot and just being able to do that is awesome that they just did that was like a a two seconds this one Mm -hmm. was like 20 minutes did it 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 give you a jolt of energy yeah 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 i was i was awake and alert all day from not sleeping the night before yeah yeah it's kind of like having a little extra good breakfast or something kind of like oh yeah Yeah. there you go (laughs) little natural Uh, juice i I was going to mention it because we're just throwing all kinds of i mean obviously there's so much to do in vegas but another thing i like boring is that (laughs) there's a couple of them it's like sub-zero and the ice bar where, where you go in and every, like, everything's ice. They give you a fur coat when you Whoa. go in and you go sit and you have vodka shots. And the they have, bar like, is fun. made of solid ice. All like, the cups they, are ice. they cool. pour the vodka down the chute of ice in your oh, cup. Sweet. And like, there's a lot of really cool experiences yeah. in Vegas. Yeah. There's no no lack of things. Yeah, to if do. you want to spend lots of money, you can go do Let me Let me ask yeah. you guys this. What about, I've been interested every time I go to Vegas. I don't The really hooker scene? Get, yeah. What you're, oh, no. <laughs> we'll get to that later those are easy yeah. easy to come by jamie don't listen to this part um no just like getting away from the strip and Ooh. like i know there's hiking out there like at red rocks oh kind of some like some of the best rock if, climbing in the world uh, yeah like, in vegas like when one of the things we love to do there in uh there's two areas i would say there's red rocks mm-hmm. not to be confused with red rocks up right. in colorado <laughs> 
but Red Rocks is out of town. It's small, good hiking. There is a it's trail. Like 45 minutes away, right? About 45 minutes away. And then it's one of those things, like, like you enter, what I forget how long the loop is. It's a 14 is. mile like loop. 14, uh, 12 14 or 14 mile, mile loop. So what, you're kind of dedicated to doing the whole loop. And there's a lot of areas to pull over and go hiking and stuff. Uh, that, there's a place that, there in the loop. If you do go up and want to go take a, like a day hike or whatever, you go up and you go into the loop as you're coming around the back side of the loop. There's a place called Mary Jane Falls back there that look, you smoke it, weed back there. You, you can absolutely. So here's the thing. When when that I say falls and, and you've lived in Oregon and you hear falls, right? right? Let's go. You think, oh, fucking waterfall. <laughs> This is Vegas, and we're talking about drip. the desert. It's a drip that it's comes down yeah, one it's rock. A creek. It's a creek, but it's a really beautiful hike, and it's cooler up there. Um, and, and yeah, it's really and nice. heading up there. There's a lot of local joints, like there's the red the Red Rock Casino. There's a lot of That's local cool casinos out a ways for away, and then going the opposite direction is the Lake Mead recreational area with Lake Mead. But like Emerald, yeah. there's a place called like Emerald Cove that has like some water that's emerald the, cove i think is out at the lake and you have to get a boat okay. like I, lake las vegas no like no like oh, lake. Oh, lake. i know lake. people go out there and kayak around uh yeah i'm not familiar yeah i'm not familiar with that night. cove but i mean lake mead is huge yeah. and there's a lot of areas yeah. to go to and then also like heading that's going out towards utah that's east is the valley of fire that so if you head north out of las vegas about 45 minutes to an hour outside of vegas is the Valley of Fire, and you've probably seen it in a lot of um, in movies and didn't know it when they're showing, uh, like trying to be on Mars or whatever. It is the trippiest, weirdest, like red rock desert sedimentary. Huh. It's a trip. That's, that's cool. It, yeah. Nice. It's, and it's a very, there's a thing there called the Adel Adel Rock. Hmm. Um, there's petroglyphs on the Adel Adel Rock nice. that, that are like, thousand right whatever years old of you know native american stuff up there if you want to if you're into that That's while cool. you're in vegas yeah lake las vegas fish. is a dope place to go to they've got like really nice restaurants out there the lake is right there it's gorgeous it's, it's a man-made like, lake it's like okay. an old little kind of like italian town there's mm. not a lot to do but it's just nice to like literally get away sure and there's so much golfing if anybody's into golfing which i know a lot of fish people yeah are, oh there's so there's many golf courses so many i'm gonna give courses. you two to Vegas golf. I used to drive limos for the Tropicana Hotel, so I know the golf scene in Vegas from doing that. Mm -hmm. There's two really amazing golf courses. Um, Bears Best is south of Las Vegas, maybe about a 30-minute drive towards State Line, and that is Jack Nicholas designed the course. It's some of the best golfing in the United States. And then on the strip, right near town center, uh, by Mandalay Bay town is square. town square um, is a golf course called Bally High. And when I would pick up golfers, that was the fan favorite golf course at both of these are pricey. Right. Um, well, you know, be, if you're yeah, playing golf, you, you know, golf is expensive. So Doesn't the wind have, yeah. Oh, yeah, the, the wind, wind has they a, have a yeah, private one. Private that's golf so course. Dope. Yeah. It is amazing. Uh, trying to think of what the other well it's, there's a top golf on the strip which is super fun because it's got like the driving range and then it's got also a golf course on there it's the one of the best things is to drive a, do a nighttime golf mm -hmm. like we did that with um Vinny took me for one of our last days there but yeah like on the strip at night rolling mm -hmm. around in your golf cart Tell playing people. golf yeah. it's dope <laughs> Well, and then the <laughs> driving range, me and Aaron, you said, and Simon would go with us sometimes, go into the driving range oh, right golf, there yeah. on the strip. And just do, so, yeah. Well, what's the best mini golf on the strip? Oh, my gosh. They I don't do, know about mini like, golf. They have like neon golf. They do. They have like a. Um, yeah, because the one we grew up on is gone. It's gone. Scandia, it was called yeah. Scandi. It's um, gone. No, there is one, but I don't re I don't recall where it is. No, they no have say. one. They, yeah, they have like a That's neon a, one tough inside tough of the. Hotel. Oh, another uh, good thing to do uh, during the day or uh, late night. I don't know how late it's open. Is the Neon Sign Museum? Oh that yeah, place we have pretty, been, that place. Oh yeah, pretty yeah. Cool. it's pretty yeah. cool. There a few years ago. It was a lot. Of, it was you know just an hour and a half, two hours walking around in there, but it was super cool. Lots yeah, it's of got old all those Vegas old signs, signs that it, yeah. it's a lot of a lot of history in Vegas has been torn yeah. down. But somebody, the group that did that, was smart enough. 
yeah. to start preserving signs from the 40s and 50s. Right. And yeah. and oh, there's even stuff all the way up through like Attack from Mars, the movie. Yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah. Like yeah. That. A lot of cool stuff there. Imagine if we had our old house, like how cl- we were so close. To I know we could have. This event. This would have been, been the perfect party house mm-hmm. for that. Um, so um let's see darren what uh set list p- predictions call call two songs oh. that you would like to see just not, two darren. not you two songs yeah <laughs> <laughs> and not tool songs what band, what band are we seeing yeah wait tool was at the sphere no oh, okay. no they were just saying play play okay. Vegas, team arena, arena. Okay. Sphere yeah. right. adjacent yeah right. for me i'd go rift and free oh Ooh. is there a theme with that you just figure it out stepping buddy. off the ledge bro <laughs> literally yeah what about you aaron i'm gonna toss that question to you Oy vey. um is that a new song yeah it's a, <laughs> fishman oh, wait, wrote it's it off the new, it's off the new <laughs> album it's, it's, off, it's off involved <laughs> uh what's that joel was just uh wrote in about scandia he said. oh he knows about scandia right on joel um this is live boy tweezer <laughs> I would love to see a tweezer with with the graphics, and I would also love to see Reba mm. and see what they could do with the, you know, the bathtub and the ladle and the mm. purple paste and <laughs> all that shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I want a, I want a yim and and I always say and a steam. Steam is my steam favorite. would be sick. I want a steam and a and a yim. Seeing you know, what they did with that it would be amazing. Oh, there. I just thought of another one. Mm. Anyway, go ahead, Mel. <laughs> Go ahead, babe. Divided sky. Oh, always <laughs> because of the the sphere. Oh, thing. yeah. Divided and, and skies. And, yeah. Uh-huh. Anyway, sorry. Go ahead, Mel. <laughs> um. Honestly, I don't care. Oh, hey, come yeah. on! I'm, I'm stoked. They're gonna play all our Pick favorites two anyway. Songs that you would or like one, to one. see. Uh, play right. the game. All right, I'll play the game. <laughs> play the game. Sunday, Please. bloody Sunday, um, New Year's. Uh, no, okay, wait. okay, okay. You know what? I'd like to see a Type Three melt, split open and melt. Yeah, okay, Ooh, nice. I like that. Wait, what are we listening to? What? Oh Spray shit! Amnesia. Yeah, that kind. Yeah, <laughs> where you forget that would what be song the place. it is. Yeah, I man, that. that would be That's the dope favorite. to do in there, like in space and everything in there. This <laughs> and everything. Yeah, I mean, and you know what, David thing. Bowie. I'd love to see a freaking Bowie. <laughs> All right. Yeah, with like a huge image of. Yeah. Of David Bowie, yeah. Cross. an yeah. extra long singing portion of Mike's song. <laughs> no, like I think it'd be, two think it'd be super Mike's cool song. if, like, every band that played the Sphere had to play a cover by the band that before it played. Before. I, think it'd be, I think it'd be super cool. And I don't know if they if uh, Fish opened up with even better than the real thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. If, that, like, wow. I don't know if the they, boys, could pass, they could do it. I don't they know if the boys and you two would take that as a slight, but I think that'd be super cool. We still haven't found what I'm looking for. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jordan, you're last. Uh, so I was hoping that could. Nope. Are we weren't going to let <laughs> it die. Counted. I want to hear a Neil Young cover. I, Love Neil Young. Second love that. Fish covers Neil Young. So um I would love to hear Oh Earth, Fire, Water, Space or something. The theme. Ooh. Um I think it'd be cool. Oh, Rick Stiggs was saying that they were reading something about a earth. Oh, the air, elements. Fi- yeah, the elements. That yeah. would be awesome. Fire, wa- that, so that's will we awesome. get an Earth, Wind, and Fire cover? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jordan, you got one more. I'm not letting it go. <laughs> well, I'm gonna I'm gonna Go covers with my. Ooh, like, I I'd love like covers. The, you know, Elvis cover, being in Vegas. Or oh, shit. Yes. I didn't Elvis. even think of any of this. Yes. Yeah, you're right. Visuals, you know, like. Yeah, you two focused on that so, and even better than the real thing as uh, well. Like, really? It was all yeah, Elvis. Sense, yeah, sense. yeah, it was um, super cool. Hasn't, Primus used to do that. Every time Primus came, Les Claypool would come out in the full rhinestone right. cape and everything. Yeah. Went <laughs> off. Big old fake pop. Give the fans wig. what they want, right? 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 Didn't, right? <laughs> hasn't Fish done viva las vegas in the past yeah i believe so like in 96 or something you that's know what we have that kennedy's cover right i'm just kidding yeah i'd love yeah. a don't <laughs> doubt me that that's what i'll throw in there i would love that oh yeah pull anything off of sci-fi sci-fi is my fave there. dude it will always be my fave um fish no viva las vegas fish viva. all right what else jordan what's your what's your last baby Oh, prediction! Uh, you were you were not on. It was close though, mm-hmm. Jordan. Mm-hmm. February sixteenth, two thousand three. Oh three, ninety six in Vegas. <laughs> ninety six, oh um, three, same thing. Thomas and yeah. Mac Center. Thomas and Mac. 
yeah. Thomas and Mac, and it was David Bowie, Catapult, David Bowie, Horn, Guy B, Round Room. Uh, where is it? You're off to Encore. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Viva Las Vegas. Wow. You can find Fun. anything on the internet. It's crazy. Yeah. It's fucking crazy. It's a wild thing. Um, well, I will say, I would love to hear a, a great maze. I think. Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah. You just nice. Good Terrapin Station and a Dark Star in the space. <laughs> and now we're wait, wait. We're at the wrong <laughs> um, When's the last time Fish did a dead cover? You know, Good the question, only right? fish dead yeah. cover I've ever even seen video of is Terrapin Station on Jerry's birthday years and years and right. years, and years huh. ago. Yeah, okay. I, I think I've. Done. All right, we're gonna we're gonna check the stats. <laughs> you could be going Come on, George, on this one. Uh, credibility. Terrapin. No, they've done Althea like eighty times. Wait, no, that's another band. <laughs> Wall of sound. Uh, Terrapin Station fish. Um, shit. Virginia ninety eight. That's correct. Nice. <laughs> nice. Well, well done. Jordan. Well done, Jordan. Thanks. Um, all right. Well, so we have earth, air, fire, water prediction. prediction. I like the sound I, of that. I, I do too. I think it's I, great. I really that's so I'm how gonna about say like desert forest, like hmm. you know, some kind of rugged, crazy, icy terrain, okay. and like well, I'm, tropical. My, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna hedge a guess and say outside, inside, over and in between. Hmm. Mm. Whoa, yeah, I wouldn't have guessed that. It's yeah. heavy, right? Well, yeah. I think the element thing kind of makes sense because that's what the sphere part of the science area is controlling True. the having control of the elements right. and yeah. everything. So, that's so one night dope. it's going to be like really hot in there, and everybody's going to be passing out. <laughs> then one next night you're going to need a coat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Like Ninety one there next week. Oh, yeah. Okay. oh yeah. Let's okay. let's look already. at the weather for everybody okay. yeah. for next week. Yeah. So our, our How's the weather out there, Carl. It's hot. It's fucking oh. hot. <laughs> well, Apple. Well, <laughs> uh okay vegas front thursday we've got oh, jesus christ vegas come on man huh. no, it's gonna be super <sighs> 91 with a low of 60 fucking four I, friday 91 like that's no what's nice saturday 90 you know what I mean? I so it's in the 90s bring your sunscreen you'll, and be your able, you'll be able to walk the strip at two three in the morning with shorts <laughs> oh like we didn't on. mention yeah. the pool situation oh um, that's another awesome experience if you haven't done it you get a little cabana yeah. you hang out all day get totally dehydrated <laughs> go back inside Sun shower up and, tired. and then and then head to the show for those of you that have never been to vegas you Face can yourselves. drink on the strip outside like anywhere. open uh, uh, anywhere yeah, yeah. yeah. you can Better. you can just walk around with a drink in your hand that's something to know you can drink and smoke most places yep yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh they also have at, at, a, at, a, at a lot of places yeah. they have these <laughs> they're called yards and it's yeah. a cup that's about for youtube i'm holding out my hands about two feet apart <laughs> it's a yard of beer. it's a yard and it's a long thin cup and it comes with a lanyard yeah. to wear around your freaking neck so yeah. you don't lose your drink yeah, you don't yeah. got hands that, free that's a really <laughs> big, that's can, free, and that's a really big thing down in the fremont experience yeah and you they can walk a into lot the of those with a no. yard of beer right no, you, no you outside food or drink you need a half it's only a Breaks half yard it, <laughs> you, can you can put that on venuelama.com <laughs> yeah sure where your lanyard rigs digs is is uh oh, from yes shit mexico yeah Shout out Riggs Diggs. We what's up, you. brother? Yeah, what's up, Riggs Diggs? I have no Ooh, idea what that is, but Amen. Jody. Um, Jody. It's Jody. Hi, Jody. We're, we're Hello, Jody. Uh, anyway, look forward to meeting sometime. You told me oh. not to sit, do that, like interact with. I know, but we're wrapping and, up. You know, we're wrapping. I'm up. just saying. And if you're out there and that you have may, questions, he may you. Here, He's come allowed to come up to Aaron and ask him. Go have a call out. He's a representative. Yeah, I'm going to be wearing a sandwich board actually at both shows. It says information on it. And, 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 I, and I'm going to be and a robot. And this hat have a question mark on it. Yeah. Right like, In all seriousness, right. the Venue Llama podcast and No Simple Road are teaming up to do post-show interviews with the fans as you're walking out of the show. So if you see us... Or the, security. That sounds either like avoid yeah. us all <laughs> together yeah. or... If you can form was. words after the show... Yeah. And feel like talking. Oh, you look know. for me and Jordan. Jordan, show him your your punum. Yeah, we might decide <laughs> at the last minute not to do it. Yeah, it, so. it it all depends on how things go. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> but right now the plan is we're going to be doing some post and pre show interviews with the fans to get your hot takes and uh, real time reactions to what we're all about to experience. One of my favorite 
things about this fish event. There is no 1.0, 4.0, 3.0 shit. Mm -hmm. None of us can say, well, when I saw them at the sphere in 97, it right. was way better than mm -hmm. I haven't seen it done yet now. Well, none of us can say that Equal shit. Playing not field. even the band. Not even the band. No. This yep. is new oh, yeah. to everybody. Yeah, they're not even going to practice, I heard. No. <laughs> Fish doesn't practice. I don't think they yeah. need to. Um, the other Do thing that, that is really, like, really warmed my heart, and I'm not being um, facetious or silly. In that article that I read, they offered Fish more dates for the sphere. Mm -hmm. And Trey went to the production person and said hey if we do more dates will it be good and she said it'll be good if you do more dates but it won't be great yeah if you do huh. four nights it's gonna blow minds i love that and trey said we are not doing more dates i no. I, I can respect that. and i yeah. will say a heartfelt thank you to troy anesthesia <laughs> for for being a mensch man and, and no like, disrespect to bono no no, and and Definitely not. And, they, and no disrespect to Den Company for the, adding sure. a million yeah, no dates. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for 2,000 dates. Yeah, yeah. their, their <laughs> year residency <laughs> at the Sphere. But it, you know what, man? That shows the integrity of the band, and it also shows they're that always, they're not there doing it for the fucking money. They're right. doing it for the love of the thing and the art. They're and, doing their own thing. Yep, That's yeah. what they're always doing, and that's why Fish is awesome. Yep. They uh, do their own thing. It makes my heart happy to know that the band that I've spent a lot of money going to see is has integrity. Yeah. And, and that's and, cool. And the scene, like the most creative band in a place that just seems like it has like the biggest palette for mm -hmm. yes. creativity. Yeah. So um, the biggest possibility, the likes of what we've never seen in yeah. all of our years of going to, sh to shows, like which is a lot. A yeah. lot. How many yeah. years have you guys been going to shows together? Uh, like Jordan and I, like a couple months. <laughs> <laughs> we just, we met, just met yeah <laughs> in the parking lot <laughs> no we've been going to shows together for 25 years yeah 25 Dang. years so yeah 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 give or take yeah wow, uh, wow. something like, yeah. <laughs> yeah we met in 2000 yeah right? no, no i think it's actually probably like exactly like yeah about 25, 25 years 25. yeah yeah, yeah. Wow. We've, well, got, we've probably seen hundreds of shows together i imagine i also yeah, want to uh, mention the magic of the scene because you weren't even going to go to these shows right darren yeah i wasn't i mean until yesterday I didn't have a ticket for any of these shows. Uh, and this cat called me up yesterday and said, I got you a ticket for Saturday night. So I'm now going. And I, I was actually telling my girlfriend there's about a 7% chance that I'd be going next weekend. And then all of a sudden it changed within about five minutes. Sounds like you need to gamble when you're in Vegas. <laughs> I don't usually. The last two times I've been there, I've spent less than $100 gambling each time. So what's your What's your gamble in Vegas? What's your game? The war table. War? war yeah you remember when you're a kid playing one, war two, three, you know, four. One, one person gets one card and you get another and that's it aka Egyptian it's quick it's quick wow okay fun, fun gambling can become expensive but super exhilarating all right <laughs> again the everybody is the best <laughs> if you want to drink for free in the local bars just sit there and play video poker very slowly yeah um yeah. jordan but, but tip Tip your tip, cocktail, tip your waitress, cocktail waitress, waitress or your they, you can you drink play faster. nickels if yeah. you go walk in and you're like give them a 20 you're going to be getting drinks oh yeah just they'll rotation. remember yep jordan Yo. give everybody the skinny on venue llama where to find the info and all that stuff and and the youtube and all that business yeah <clears throat> venue llama.com that's our that's our website we have an instagram page <clears throat> venue llama we have a lot of uh like tips and information on there and i think we're probably going to do a little we've been doing videos on youtube like before before runs so if we have time we're trying to get one of those out so check out the venue llama youtube channel as well all right and also if you are in portland bend or denver make sure you go visit fire on the mountain wings man yeah we didn't even talk place. about that yeah yeah, yeah I've, I've heard that's a good place best damn <laughs> chicken wings and beer we'll take on you the there planet. sometime yeah please it's really good. i think we're taking mom there today oh, nice. oh we're going oh, to fire on the mountain yeah dope good news. i'm down for that mom or really? jamie was talking about it and i was like yeah we'll take mom uh last but not least i just want to say i haven't been this excited for a, f a show in a long, long, long about a month since, about since, since, since before since we Mexico. went to Mexico. You're talking no. about the podcast? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, man, for real. I, I'm really excited for this run of shows. We're going to see Sax. We're going to see Cam. We're going to see Putt and Meg. We're going to see my mom. 
Yeah, you okay. guys probably have a lot of friends that you're going to see that you have. We're going to see our don't get to hang out my with friend yeah, Mariana gonna, that I used to work I'm with for four extra days. They're staying next to see family oh, and that's friends. Nice. That's catch nice. up. We're going to see we're Jasper. See, we're going to see our grandson's going to be there. Whoa. He's going to be there, that's dude. Cool. I'm He's smuggling him into night the shows. Four, dude. Night four. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, my daughter's coming. No. Oh, cool. Really? No, but they wow. are. They're, they're not going to the show. Yeah. Obviously, they're, they're, they're going to be there. They're yeah. coming to see us in Vegas. And and going back to the hometown is, is a trip, man. There, I have a lot of um, mixed emotion about Las Vegas. I've been gone long enough to where when I go back, it doesn't sting quite as bad as it did when I was there. I know how you feel. You do. Yeah. Um, it... Uh, a lot of the places that I did really horrible, awful shit have been demolished and rebuilt into different <laughs> places right. now. That so helps. Like for real. Yeah, that helps. So like that that stuff is gone. But um the ghost of all that stuff remains. Oh, yeah. It's a trip. Oh, yeah. How yeah. how like just I remember when we went back when my dad passed away, the plane was landing and I was like, Oh, I remember that place. Ooh, yeah, I remember being there and like the feeling of living in that city kind of came over me and I was like, oh shit. Your past coming rushing up. Yeah, right man. Like yeah. It, it was really weird. But like I said, it's been eight years. So it's long enough now to where when we go back, it's fun. Yeah. And and I can it's, it's fun to do the touristy stuff. Yeah, I get to see Vegas from a right? from a completely right? different perspective than when That's I lived cool. there before. So I'm I'm and, and really it changes excited. so quick because it's because we go back every couple years or something. There's like so much new shit going right. on new hotels being built mm -hmm. it's 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 constantly changing yeah vegas like for me it doesn't feel like vegas and like a lot of fans in the scene it's like so antithetical to like what we stand, what stand for, for a lot. yeah and i always you know i had trouble with that in like my first seeing the dead in vegas back in like 94 yeah. but like since i've been back there the past couple of times i've just learned to just appreciate what it, it, is. it is what it is. It yeah, is what it is. yeah. You have and, to appreciate it for what it is. Definitely, yeah. I agree with that. And then yeah. there is, there's the there arts is so much, like just researching food and restaurants. It's it's mind blowing. Yeah. Like how and there's so much stuff that won't even show up on oh, there. Yeah. Like yeah, there's a lot of just, art and culture there that you don't even think about. Yeah, if you, know, you that, if you got to poke around a little bit, yeah, yeah, to, oh, no pun intended. Just got <laughs> to poke around. That that town does have a heart. Um, last bit of advice when you're walking on the strip. There's individuals that have escort cards. No, not anymore. No, really? they're no, gone. They outlawed that. That's all done. It's so cool. I've Thank, heard, never mind. That's what I heard. Mm -hmm. That that's all done because of the amount of litter yeah. and everything, and mm -hmm. people harassing, huh. handing out basically escort things to families that are with their Little kids, kids. <laughs> and, <laughs> and pushing them on people and letting go of them, and the paper would just fall on the ground. Right. So the strip yeah, that's not cool. Not to mention the actual escorting part. Well, that was <laughs> that was what, where I was going to get to. Is be careful if you're going to go down that road, you can get robbed. Anyway, right. um, everybody, please be safe at when you're traveling. Travel safely, everybody. And uh, until you get there, I can't wait to see all of you. And uh, wow, we're we're yeah. do, we're really doing this, aren't we, guys? Yeah. Yeah. So until next time, we will be back on Friday with another episode edition episode Evolution. of no simple road yeah. uh make sure to go check out the venue llama podcast venue llama.com and all the fire on the mountain places and all that stuff and hey i'm gonna say it while we're on youtube so that the world knows no simple road costs a dollar now a month but it's the honor system so the way you do the honorable thing is go to patreon.com forward slash no simple road and sign up and then you're in like Flynn, man. Nobody will know if you don't, though. I have a okay? couple singles on me. You do? Perfect. Yeah. Okay, cool. Jordan hey. will, will pay for it. Until next time, take care of each other. Smile at a stranger. Safety third or first when you're at the sphere. <laughs> yeah, it's first. We're and sure. hydrate. And and you know what? Know before you go, man. So you yeah. don't, you don't, yeah. you know, fucking blow it. Yeah. You know what I'm Do you remember that? Like, the more you know. The more you know. The more yeah. you know. Less you blow. Mm -hmm. That's there true. Yeah. Oh, and never mind. All right. <laughs> Love y'all. Peace. Bye. Bye. I was going to edit. Bye, yeah. everybody on YouTube. Saying, don't, don't we love listen. you guys. What happens in Vegas does follow you home. Yes. <laughs> it absolutely can. That's the biggest bullshit. <laughs>